Hi everyone, welcome to my live cooking show. Today is October 17th and I am super excited to get started. Um, my air fryer just beeped at me, so I'm going to take a second and I am flipping my um, eggplant here and I will tell you all about that, but I'm afraid that I will forget, so here I am. <laughs> I'm going to flip this real quick and then I'll tell you all the things that we're going to do today, which I am really excited about. Do not think that's going to need any more time. Oh, finished early. That's awesome. Okay. Let me pick this real quick. Cancel. Okay, so I am so excited. Um, today I picked two recipes. Um, I'm kind of watching my calories. So I picked two recipes that would be um, calorie friendly and a little bit more on the keto side. Um, so if you're doing keto, make sure that you check the ingredients. Um, don't hold me to that. But um, Hubby and I do tend to kind of lean towards um, lower carbs. So that's kind of what I'm working with today. So I'm going to start with a buffalo chicken um, dip. And it is from the To Be Mindset um, program that's through Beachbody. And I'm not a coach, but if you want information, um, feel free to ask. And I will post the recipe once I'm done. So if you're on, I would love for you to say hello. I can actually see my camera today. It's like right there. So I think I will be able to um, say hello. And if you have questions um, or you think you can do what I can do, which you absolutely can, um, I would love to have you um, answer or ask questions. So hi, Keith. All right, awesome. So I have preheated my oven to 350. And then I'm so excited. I actually picked this recipe because I want to use this baker. Um, this came in the fall line and it's literally like beautiful, so beautiful. So it comes with a serving lid. Um, and I've seen all of these really great recipes where you put like the carrots on top and you cook it in the oven like this with lasagna on the inside. And I'm not actually going to use the top because I'm not cooking on it. So I'm gonna set it aside, but I wanted to show you how beautiful it is. So that is the um, cover baker and it is glazed on the outside and then not on the inside, but it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna give it a real light spritz. So I hope everybody's having an awesome day today. It's Monday, kind of felt a little Monday-ish. I um, am a teacher and my, <laughs> my kids, oh boy, they must have had a really fun weekend because they were like sleeping today. They worked hard, but man, they were sleepy. Okay, so I've got that all prepared and I'm gonna set it aside and do my mixture for the buffalo chicken. And that's beeping back here, but I'm going to ignore it because I don't actually need it. So I've taken um, two cans of chicken um, which is already cooked, which is super easy. And I rinsed it, um, but isn't this cute? Like, check this out, they're little like spoons up here. So this is like my favorite colander. So I reach for it any chance that I can get to use it. Um, I'm a sucker for something that works really well and is really, really pretty. So, okay, so I am going to, I've got my chicken in there and I'm supposed to shred it, um, but I don't want to shred it. So I'm just going to use my hand mixer. This is from the Flex Plus system. And it whips right through things. You could also use a food processor, but I was planning on using the food processor with my other recipes. And this does a really great job. It's surprising to me that something that is battery powered has this much power to it to be able to shred chicken. But like, check that out. Like, it's perfect. So then I'm going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this again, so I'm going to set it over here because I'll probably want to use it to mix, but I don't want it to like fall over. All right. So next up, I'm adding the yogurt, cream cheese, blue cheese, hot sauce, like pretty much everything. So I'll go ingredient by ingredient. First is the cup of Greek yogurt. Okay. And I'm using like Chobani. I'm sure you can use any kind of Greek yogurt. Um, in there and get that. And then I'm going to add the cream cheese, which was a half of a cup of reduced fat. And it's supposed to be softened. So I left it out on the counter for a little bit ahead of us chatting here. Okay. And then next up, I need the blue cheese, which I'm using blue cheese crumbles. It was just, you know, in the deli section at the, at the store. Um, and I need a fourth of a cup. Put that in there. 
All right. And then I need two tablespoons of Frank's Red Hot, which we literally have on hand all the time. And I love this because it has such a powerful punch to it, but it doesn't have like a huge amount of calories or sugars or, you know, hidden things like that. So you get a really great punch with that. Okay. And then next up, I need a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, which I grabbed um, the three onion from Pibber Chef, which is awesome and smells amazing. I love it. Um, and then I'm just going to, I just take the lid off and then I stick this in here so that I can do a quarter of a teaspoon which I'm not sure I've ever used a quarter of a teaspoon, but it's on there, so which is pretty cool. And then I think I need that for my next recipe, so I'm going to put it over there so I'm not, like, looking for it later. Then I need garlic powder, so I'm going to use the garlic rub. I really, if I can, try to use the Pampered Chef seasonings because they just really pack a punch. So, okay, so there's that. And then next up, I need onion powder. I just did dried parsley and I don't have any parsley so I'm going Italian which is a wonderful like seasoning blend set that aside because I don't need that one again and then I need dried dill which this like was my first like favorite um favorite seasoning I mean it smells amazing okay so to the chicken and stir to combine. Yeah, I might as well use this if I'm going to stir it. We'll see if it like flings the yogurt all over me in the process. Yeah, pretty good. So I like this one um, because it does have less calories in it because of the things that you're adding. And they portioned it so that you could use it um, as a meal, which I love buffalo chicken. Um, and I don't make the real kind very often because I can't keep my fingers out of it. So I was really excited that they gave an option in here, um, for how to make it a lunch, which is fantastic. And like I said, I'll post that in the comments once I'm finished. Okay. So that looks good. Get my scraper. Don't want to miss out on that. This is the scraper that goes in the kids batter bowl, like set totally check that out because it is like the cutest set and it comes with like a yellow bowl and this little scraper and I'm like finding myself using the scraper all the time and then a little like cupcake baking set it's so cute so cute so if you're looking for like things for kiddos for Christmas and you're wanting to like add cooking to their resume um check that out because it's really 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 cute make a great gift Okay, so checking my things. Okay, so the green onions go on at the end, and this has to cook for 20 to 25 minutes. And that was at, I don't even remember, 350. Okay, so this aside. I someday will only make one of the recipes, but I can never decide. And that's why I ask you guys, like, you know, what, what I should make. And then I end up just making two of them sometimes even three. I have the ingredients for all of them. So, but I usually pick things that I think that I'll make during the week. And this takes care of dinner for tonight, which is like awesome. Okay. So my pan is a little bit on the big side. So I'll probably just use, like cook it like this in half so that it's doesn't like burn on the bottom. was supposed to be in like an eight by eight, but I couldn't stand it. I'm like, I've got to use my pan. I love this pan. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and it says bake for 20 to 25 minutes or until warmed through garnish with green onions, which I have my green onions. Um, I had a tiny little like bunch that was still in my garden from the summer. So I was really excited that that was still hanging out. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven. I don't put the lid on it. Um, because I'm not cooking on the lid, so you don't want to put it in there and like take the chance of cracking that. Take that, put it over here. Pull out my other eggplant, which we can talk about in just a second. It's got a little toasty. All right, so 
Um, this is the recipe and I'll post a picture so that you can um, try it at home. I know that was like a big, um, that people were really voting for that one. So it's awesome. Okay. So I'll post that in a little bit and then you serve it with, um, with veggies. So you can do, I think they even like portioned out how many chips you can have. It's like an ounce and a half of chips, or you can do, um, like any kind of crunchy veggie. I think that, um, cucumbers would be yummy on that too. Okay, so I'm going to move this stuff over so that I can do recipe number two, which helps me out this week because it gets me meal planning so that I've got some extras. All right, so recipe number two um, that was chosen was the simple stuffed cheeseburgers, um, which is on, um, you serve it instead of on a bread, you serve it on like an eggplant thin, um, which mine got a little bit toasty. Um, so I might have to do a couple more, but I wasn't completely sure that anybody other than me was going to eat the eggplant then anyway, and not just throw it on a bun. So, <laughs> okay. So we are going to, the oven is preheated to 375 and I lined a large baking sheet with, um, parchment paper. And I just buy a parchment paper, like in a box and it's like already folded and the right size for my pans. So, all right. So I'm going to add my mushrooms which I need four cups of mushrooms um, to a food processor and I'm going to cover it and chop them up. I'm gonna pop this in. This is part of the Flex Plus system, um, which is like the blender that I used a few minutes ago. That's the, one of the other parts to the system. It's really cool. If you want it at a discount, definitely like host so that you don't have to pay full price for it. Get that in there. Okay, cool. All right, and then what I do is this is the attachment that goes to the hand mixer, and I just take that off. Also comes with an emulsion blender, which if you've seen me do my shakes in the morning, that's I'm using the emulsion blender for that. Okay, so it's got a safety on here. So you hit the safety first, and then you push the power button. Wondering if I overloaded it. Might have too many in there. I got the bottom ones. Definitely. I think I overloaded it. Okay, let me pull a few of these out of here. Okay. I think it popped up. That's what happened. Okay, there we go. Get it all lined up. Let's see if it's misbehaving. Ah, there we go. Okay. There we go. We're back in action. I don't know if that's good in here. Oh, yeah, okay. You can keep going. All right. Get those out of there. And then I can do another round. My spatula. So if you're just popping on, make sure you say hello. If you've got any questions, I would love to answer them. I can actually see the camera today. Sometimes I set it up and I'm like, ah, I've already hit put live and I am so far away. I can't see anything. <laughs> so this time I got it. I got it right. So I am doing, um, if you've just hopped on, I'm doing the stuffed cheeseburgers that were in my poll from yesterday and this weekend. That was one of the things that you said you wanted to see. And then the other thing um, was the buffalo chicken which is like a skinny recipe, which I have cooking. So if you missed that, you can watch the replay. Okay. So starting off with four cups of mushrooms and I'm tapping them up. Okay. Looks like that looks good. Set it over here so I don't knock it over. Okay, that's part of the Flex Plus system, which is really awesome. It comes with the emulsion blender and food processor. 
And then the hand mixer, which is great because everything is cordless. So it's like so easy to use um, and really easy to clean up. You just like pop the bottom off of this and then just rinse the inside and you're like good to go. Okay, so that is a ton of mushrooms. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, so add mushrooms to the food processor, cover and pulse until coarse paste for forms, which I've got, I was wondering about that because I'm like, that does look pasty. So that is good to go. Okay, and then add the mushroom mixture. I'm adding the turkey to that, eggs, almond flour, and Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, all the things. Okay, so I've got, um, I've got ground turkey here. I'm adding to that. And I hate to touch stuff like this, so I'm getting my gloves. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be making this into hamburgers. <laughs> um, all right. And then, well, I know I'm going to make it into hamburgers. Then I need the eggs. So I need two large eggs. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Hi. Hey, Tiffany. Tiffany's hosting right now. She's working on getting lots of goodies. Okay. So that's two eggs and then almond flour, which I would imagine is a binder. Um, so that's come there. That's what's going on there. So hi, Cindy. Cindy just ordered some goodies. Okay, so I've got a quarter cup of almond flour that I need next. I have to find, that's a third of a cup, so that's, we'll just go a little less because I have used all my quarter cup things. Okay, so that's almond flour. Pop that in my sink. So my goal is always to, I watch my videos after I'm done, and then I try to finish cleaning up the kitchen because I tend to destroy the kitchen when I'm cooking and I the goal is to watch my video and be done with um, cleaning and cooking by the time the video is done <laughs> so okay next up I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce which is two tablespoons and I have that over here And I need two tablespoons of that. I'm not sure if I exactly have two tablespoons, so we'll see. It's hard to tell in the, the dark bottle, so we'll see what we got in there. Kind of looks like I'm close. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I'll add that to the list. Okay, and then I need a teaspoon of garlic powder. Glad I kept that out from earlier. Okay, so there's my teaspoon. When I'm using the little spoons, I just take the lid off and pop that in there. And this is a garlic rub. It's the same one that I used in the buffalo chicken. There's garlic and then onion. I need a teaspoon of that. Key is in the seasonings, that is for sure. And so is making sure that you've got lots and lots of seasonings in there. I need ground paprika which is half of a teaspoon. And then I need half of a teaspoon of sea salt. See, I think I've got it on the wrong measurement. I love the slider. Keeps me, keeps me measuring things quickly. <laughs> a lot of times I go off the rails, so keeps me using it. And then I need ground pepper. So I'm just going to go ahead and just grind it in there. Okay. And then I need to mix it. Combine thoroughly. Okay, here we go. This is where I'd be like, okay, somebody else do this. <laughs> Probably would work well with the, um, the hand mixer too. I just threw it into the, I just threw it into the soapy water. So that'll have to wait. Okay. They're sticking together. I, um, I, Hubby was buying me gloves because he knows that I hate to touch stuff like this. Um, and he brought these things home, which I'm like, those are huge. And he's like, yeah, but they're cheap. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. 
so the other ones were like I don't know 10 bucks for a box of them for the ones that are like kind of like surgical gloves um and he was like yeah you use like a lot of them when you cook and I was like yeah that's right that's true I do kind of do that (laughs) okay so if you're just hopping on feel free to say hi um if you have any questions I would be happy to answer any questions um if you're watching the replay and it's still October. Um, We have a $25 kit. So if you're like watching me and you're like, oh my gosh, I could totally do that and make money. Well, yeah, you can. Absolutely. And I would love to show you. Um, I'm always looking for fun and exciting people to join my team who are like hungry and willing to learn. And if you you know, if you're looking for a side hustle to bring in a little extra money for the holidays, this is a really great way to do that. And I can help you get started and making money quickly, but a $25 kit, like how cool is that? So, um, Pampered Chef's birthday is, um, this month. And in fact, it was a couple of days ago and we, um, they are celebrating their 42nd anniversary, which is so cool. Um, and I just really jive with the story on how they got started. Our founder, her name is Doris. Um, if you aren't familiar with her and she was a teacher and she wanted to stay home with her kids and she you now had this amazing entrepreneurial um, um, spirit and started her own business and the rest is history. So cool. So cool. Okay. So I'm going to divide this into 12 equal size balls and then I'm going to press cheese into it. Okay, so let's just finish with this and I can be done with using these gigantic gloves. I bet I'm going to need to if I'm rolling them into balls. So yeah, get that going. So I hope that everybody's having an awesome day. It, um, is like weird around here it's the weather is like it's kind of gloomy it's looking kind of like fall wintry um and it's monday which i think it makes everybody feel like they should have just stayed in bed (laughs) so um but i'm a teacher if you're like i wonder what she does does she do this full time i do um i do this on the side so, and I'm a full-time teacher and I'm celebrating my 25th year of teaching this year, which is super exciting. Um, and I'm, you know, looking for ways to supplement our income because we have a kiddo in college now and um, we are going to have another kiddo in college in a couple of years. And we want to be able to pay for as much as we can of their college so that they come out debt-free and in can enjoy making money um, and spend it on themselves rather than paying for college, which we're going to, you know, try our best to do as much as we can to help with that. Um, But this, you know, side hustle offers some extra money and travel, which I, um, when I joined Pamper Chef, I joined because they had some really cool incentives that they were doing for new consultants. Um, And I joined my sister's team and I um, had, been in other companies before and they're like, see, they talk about their trips and things like that. I'm like, well, I'm not going to ever earn that. So I'm not going to even pay attention. And the first year that I was in Pamper Chef, I actually earned the elite trip um, to the Bahamas, which was like bonkers. Um, so it was, I, I didn't end up taking that trip because it was still COVID time. Um, and if you tested positive <laughs> while you were in the Bahamas, you had to like stay in quarantine And I'm like, I can't do that as a teacher. That's like impossible. So I skipped the trip and we took um, the cash payout and um, Hubby and I went on an anniversary trip and we went to um, Fort Lauderdale and celebrated our 20th anniversary together. So it was wonderful, but it was cool that I could take a cash payout and not lose all that hard work. Okay. So we ended up with 11 instead of 12. So that's close enough for me. All right. Next up. Ugh, I'm glad I didn't have to touch that. <laughs> it was gross. Okay, next up is I need to put a piece of cheddar cheese into each ball over there. So um, I have my thing here. And it looks like I got some like oyster sheer sauce kind of all over the place. Let me take care of that. My pile up is building over here, so. 
anybody wants to come and do dishes, like, <laughs> feel free. All right. Get this open. I picked, um, like, a sharp cheddar cheese because that's kind of my jam. So um, they suggest reduced fat cheddar, but um, I wanted something that was, like, super bitey. So I got my scissors real quick. We always have, like, junky, like, kitchen scissors kind of hiding here just so that I don't like reach for the really really nice shears and use them on plasticky things so it's not really good for them but I was like chatting with um, a, a guy that is in my in one of my parties right now and he sent me the coolest picture yesterday he uses the shears the kitchen shears so like these to cut his bonsai trees and I or his, like his bonsai plants and he sent me pictures and I was like that is like the coolest thing I've ever seen and so um I was I was like okay just really cool connections that you make with people when you're partying okay so three reduced fat cheddar cheese sticks quartered and frozen okay so I didn't freeze them Because when I was coming home today, I was still trying to decide which one I was going to do, which <laughs> recipe I was going to do. So I'm going to take these and then, I guess, just stuff them in there. That's a cool way to add cheese. And then, you know, make sure that you're not using too much and get it in there to get the flavor, but not huge amount of calories. If you don't have a crinkle cutter, this thing is like the bomb. I love it. And man, that thing is like sharp. It goes through like everything. It's a great way to make cheese sticks um, at home and save yourself some money. Um, also, when you cut them fresh, they do tend to taste better. I have one more. And then I have like a really skinny piece of cheese. So I'm going to double it up over here. Okay, so let's see what it says next form into a patty. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not even sure I actually want to do that. So maybe I will follow the directions. That's probably why hubby bought the cheap one. <laughs> because I use like 10 sets of them when I'm cooking like one meal. It's kind of it's kind of gross looking, but um, I don't know if you've ever used mushrooms like this in burgers, um, but especially like turkey burger because turkey um, is really great like on and low fat, um, but it doesn't really have any flavor. So, so adding mushrooms to it is a really great way to like punch the flavor. And then you definitely like over season it so that it tastes like something. Otherwise, it just kind of tastes just, like bland. Okay. Place on prepared sheet, form into a ball, and then cook for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to check on my buffalo chicken dip because I did not set up. It is not bubbling yet. I did not set up my timer, so <laughs> make sure that I'm not overcooking that. But I am going to set a timer for this one so I don't forget about it. So, Alexa. Set a timer for 25 minutes. All right. Next thing is toppings. Oh, how cool. Okay, so we're there. So they suggest, and I'm not going to bother to cut these up, but I will, um, you know, just kind of tell you what's going on. Um, they suggest adding toppings, which would be uh, romaine lettuce, um, olive oil mayonnaise, which is a great alternative to, like, regular mayonnaise. And I think probably because it has a little bit less sugar in it, um, but remain lettuce leaves and then onions and tomatoes. So um, that's what you can add to that. So let me set those aside so I don't knock them off the counter. Um, so I need to do my drawing and I have that over here, but I don't think I have a container. So let's see. We'll use the one cup this time. Okay, so when I'm finished um, cooking, I will um, post some pictures and then some little videos on there. So, okay, so for our drawing, I've got Tiffany, she's going in there, and Nicole, 
And all you have to do to be in next week's drawing is to post and then share this video. Harold and Lynn. And Kevin and Leslie all liked and shared last week's video. So they're all in the drawing for this week. Which I haven't decided what you're going to get yet, but I will make sure if you don't see that you won, I will make sure that I reach out to you. Back. Keep peeking. So. <laughs> all right. So I did not peek that time. All right. Our winner is... Tiffany! Yay! Awesome! Tiffany is toasting right now, so that'll be awesome for her to get an extra gift um, for sharing last week. So, I am going to go and clean up this mess that is all over here, hiding so that you don't have to look at it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And thank you so much for... Oh, uh, yeah, she saw it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks, Tiffany. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to put them in the chat or send me a private message. I'm always looking for hosts. Um, if you are interested in hosting, um, I can make it super easy and super fun and help you maximize your rewards. Um, if you're looking for a side hustle um, and watching this in October, you have a $25 kit. So you can hit the ground running with, you know, 25 bucks in your investment and um, I can help you make some money. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.